The number one form of disobedience I see in the body of Christ today is a lack of submission to church leaders and especially anointed church leaders. There was a reason why Jesus spent more time with the apostles than with the multitudes. He spent a very small amount of his ministry preaching to the masses. Why? Because Jesus knew the importance of investing into leadership. It is upon the leadership in the body of Christ, that the saints are built up strong. And you're wondering why you're falling into sin. You're wondering why you're not growing in your walk because of who you are or aren't submitted to. Now, let me explain this further, okay? Take a look at Ephesians 4.11. It says, And he himself gave some to be apostles, prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, and teachers. These are the five offices that leadership holds in the body of Christ. For the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. So these leaders have been given to you, the body, to equip you for ministry. So you cannot go into ministry if you have not been equipped by another leader. If you have not submitted yourself to a leader, a spiritual parent, a pastor, whoever, you have to be able to listen if Jesus is going to trust you to lead. In the tabernacle of God in the Old Testament, there are five pillars that holds up the entrance into the holiest of holies. Those five pillars are prophetic for the fivefold ministry of Jesus Christ. Without the fivefold ministry, without leadership, it is impossible for the body of Christ to enter into the holiest of holies. And that is the truth. You know, I'm not saying that you should just submit to just anybody. Okay? You need to submit to the right person. The right anointed person because a lot of people out here are going to call themselves prophets and they are not prophets okay there is an order to this often how the anointing flows and how the anointing goes is that you need to be anointed by another apostle or prophet as an apostle prophet and then they anoint people and then they anoint people you know they you know that's how it works okay and so y'all are just freestyling. Y'all are going out there preaching on the streets and you haven't been anointed for ministry by any any anointed minister of the fivefold. Or a lot of you guys are going to lukewarm churches and they're not moving in miracle signs and wonders. The word of God says that apostles are followed by miracle signs and wonders. If you are, if you have a pastor who does not believe in praying for the sick or casting out demons, you need to get out of that dead church. That is why you're falling into sin 100% because your pastor is compromised. The true fivefold ministry, true leaders in the body of Christ do not compromise at all. Okay? So I urge you, seek the Lord about a spiritual covering. Seek the Lord about where to plant yourself and who is going to be your spiritual parent.